So I'm still on the that the fact that you wrote a book in your first two books in such a short period of time. <laughs> Every time I hear people, well, it took me a year to, you know, get my thoughts. And then after that, you know, it's, it's such a process. So that's incredible that it was so fast that you, that you uh, like lightning speed did that. And, uh, mm -hmm. and it is actually saying it is a, actually a great idea to write your book fast because nowadays technologies, nowadays information changes very, very quickly. For an example, if you're writing about investing uh, and if you started writing this book, maybe five years ago, then things have changed a lot in five years. So you have to be very fast. You have to really, you have to set a target date that maybe just give yourself maximum three months. That in three mm -hmm. months, I'm going to knock this book off. I'm just going to complete the book and I'm going to publish the book. If most of the people, why they're not able to write this book fast or they take, they take in maybe several years or sometimes entire lifetime to complete their book because they don't have a deadline. They don't have someone on their head they're saying that, hey, you have to complete this book as fast as you can until and unless they have an international publishing deal and they have some certain deadline. Those people actually tend to finish the book fast because they have someone, some kind of an authority wanting them to write the book or complete the book fast. But if you are self-publishing the book, if you are, mm -hmm. if you have no one else to tell you that when to publish it, you have to give yourself deadline. Otherwise, technologies, informations can change very, very quickly. And maybe once you will be able to complete the manuscript, you have to again go back and update so many things because mm -hmm. there are so many things could change. So it's actually a sane idea to complete your book as fast as you can.